Hello once again, this time we're going to tackle uh, the pudendal nerve which I think is fast becoming everybody's favourite nerve and overtaking the vagus nerve as the most fun nerve to learn about in human anatomy. Um, so let's think about the pudendal nerve in terms of its uh, spinal roots. So we've got, it comes from S2 S3 and S4 and it converges to pass through the greater sciatic foramen so it will eventually pass through the greater sciatic foramen which we're going to draw here in blue just label that like that pass it coming through here it momentarily enters into the gluteal region at this point here and will then pass back through the lesser sciatic foramen, lesser sciatic foramen here, and will continue into a space known as the ischial anal fossa. I'm going to draw that as a box. So the ischial anal fossa is in the posterior triangle of the perineum and the pudendal nerve makes its way into the anal triangle, which is where the ischial anal fossa is, either side of the opening of the anus and the external uh, anal sphincter. And it's usually fat filled, and in most of the specimens that you've seen, that fat will have been removed, and we should normally see the pudendal nerve in what's known as the pudendal Canal. And usually we can see the internal pudendal artery in there as well. Okay, so just let's recap S2, S3, S4 through the greater cytic foramen briefly or momentarily enters into the gluteal region. It comes out of the greater cytic foramen inferior to the piriformis muscle, which is a really important landmark in the gluteal region. It then hooks around through the lesser cytic foramen, which of course is formed by the sacrotuberous ligament and the corresponding sacrospinous ligament in order to enter this ischial anal fossa, which is inside the anal triangle. And it's once it runs in this pudendal canal and enters into the ischial anal fossa, which is where it begins to branch. Subscribe to Sultan Brain Hub for more videos to help explain the mysteries of the brain.